welcome to Living Well Now's Essential Oils 101 class. Uh, I'm, my name is Sarah and this is my husband Aaron and we're going to be talking about Young Living Essential Oils and how to use them. Excellent. So I started using Young Living Essential Oils 10 years ago. Uh, my mom uh, started using them and I was in massage school at the time and immediately saw the benefits uh, for my immune system, utilizing them in my massage practice, and also as a high school teacher uh, for five years, I just constantly was using them uh, to take care of my wellness, support me on that journey. Uh, so I've just been incredibly blessed by Young Living Essential Oils this last 10 years. And so presently I'm feeling very passionate about sharing my education and what I've learned so far with others. So that's why we're here today, just to educate and to continue to inspire other people to take a look at their wellness and see how they can make little shifts to make improvements in their life. Yeah, and I was introduced to Young Living Essential Oils by Aaron and his mom about seven and a half years ago. And when they first introduced them to me, I liked the way the citrus oil smelled. And that was, that was really all that I thought they did. I thought it was just for aromatherapy. And then I realized that, wow, they can actually do a lot more than this. Aaron, I wasn't feeling well, and Aaron had rubbed some really herbaceous oils on my feet. And I woke up and I said, what did you put on my feet that worked? And that really began my research journey. And there's not a day goes by that I don't use an oil. And now I really use it to just replace the toxins that I had previously in my household. And I replace them with essential oil. So I really love that. Excellent. Well, anyway, thanks for joining us today. And uh, we're excited to share what we know um, at, with you. And uh, bueno. So we're going to talk about how to use essential oils in your daily lifestyle, why Young Living Seed to Steel Promise guarantees the best products, and how to get started with a kit of essential oils for the best value, and also how to get your products paid for. So we'll talk more about that today, and then also we're going to talk about toxins. To me this is really, really important, getting rid of toxins in our household. So today more than 80,000 chemicals currently used in the United States haven't been adequately tested for their effects on human health. 80,000. That's crazy, right? These chemicals lurk in everyday items from our personal care products to our cleaning products and even in our food. And this is according to nrdc.org. So you can check that out if you want to. Many of these chemicals have been linked to cancer, learning disabilities, and many more health concerns. Sadly, most of the natural solutions out there just simply aren't as effective, but if there were natural solutions, that worked and worked well, would you want to hear about them? I know uh, that's why you're here, right? I right would, here? I would want to hear about, about them. them. Awesome. Young Living Essential Oils is the company that we are talking about today. The company owns eight of their own farms worldwide, including farms in Utah and Idaho, as well as the countries of France, Ecuador, Oman, Canada, and Croatia. Young Living has been around for over 22 years and has one of the highest client loyalty ratings in the entire industry. D. Gary Young is Young Living's founder. He's dedicated over 30 years to traveling the world and researching the remarkable benefits of these precious oils. Gary is one of the world's foremost authorities on essential oils and we feel really excited about being a part of the Young Living team. So maybe some of you are brand new to essential oils, right? Or maybe some of you have a little bit more knowledge and are still learning. So I'm going to tell you what essential oils are. They're the volatile liquid that's distilled from plants and they're carrier molecules in the plant and they help keep the plants from being attacked by bacteria, fungi, and viruses. And in our bodies, they can do the very same thing. Most essential oils are extracted from plant sources using steam distillation and are highly concentrated making them far more potent than dried botanicals. And they're also versatile with a wide variety of uses. Young Living is the largest worldwide distributor of therapeutic grade essential oils and is known for having some of the most pure and potent oils in the world. So we're gonna go ahead and teach you a little bit more. So there are three ways that we like to use essential oils. First, just inhaling from the bottle uh, putting essential oil into your diffuser, 
and filling a room just makes the, the room smell better. It also supports your immune system. You can actually make little sprays uh, for your bathrooms if you need to. Uh, just inhalation is an amazing way to use the essential oils. Secondly, we also like to apply the oils topically. So you can take a drop of an essential oil, massage it on your stomach if you need to support your digestion, uh, massage it on some muscles if your neck or shoulders are in need. Um, I love to massage oils onto my low back. Again, one piece you want to know is that you can dilute your essential oils. Uh, Young Living has some carrier oils, some massage oils, and also has uh, some lotions. So you can either use Young Living products or you can pick up a coconut oil from uh, your local market and dilute the oils with that. So if I get back from a big rock gym workout and I want to massage, I don't want to take 18 drops of an essential oil, I'd rather dilute it down with the coconut oil or Young Living's V6 massage oil. And then I can massage, you know, just a couple drops of one of the oils onto my whole upper body. And it'll also help your oils last longer as well. Definitely. And then third, dietary uh, is another option. So Young Living has Vitality oils and they actually have a specific label around them. Uh, so this is Peppermint Vitality. And you can just take a drop and put it in a glass of water. You want to use stainless steel or uh, glass uh, to when you're using um, essential oils in your water. And also you can use uh, veggie capsules and make little capsules just for immune system support. So anyway, uh, those are the three ways, dietary, uh, topically, and aromatically, just inhaling the oils. Okay, so like Aaron was saying, definitely dilute with some of the oils. So I'm gonna give you a couple more quick tips. Um, never use water if you experience irritation. For instance, we've all had an experience where we've gotten peppermint in our eye or something like that. So instead of splashing water on my face, what I would do is I would find a carrier oil, like coconut oil, and I would rub it on that location and that would lessen the intensity right away. So definitely grab your carrier oil. And don't apply essential oils to sensitive areas, like many holes. You want to avoid that. So why Young Living? Erin and I only use Young Living, and the reason why we use them is because of their seed to seal promise to our families. From the time everything is planted to the time it's cultivated, distilled, tested, and sealed, we know that everything was done with a lot of integrity. They, everything is non-GMO, it's beyond organic. They don't use any pesticides on their plants. They hand pick their weeds. They actually use oils to spray on their plants uh, to help with pests and that sort of thing. So we really loved Young Living and going to the distilleries firsthand, we really got to see that process and, and it, was, it was amazing. So I don't know any other oil companies that, that do that. So we do want you to know we're not doctors or healthcare professionals, so we're just sharing our stories about how we've used essential oils to benefit our lives and how we think they could benefit your lives. Um, so thanks for being here. We're going to drop into learning about the essential oils now. So lavender essential oil, this is uh, pretty much the Swiss army knife of essential oils, right Erin? Totally. Uh, we use it for pretty much everything. Um, I use it in the kitchen. If I get any a minor cut or a minor burn, I will put it on there right away and it helps, uh, it helps right away. <laughs> um, and I also use it in my bathroom, in my bathtub to help me relax in the evening. And then I also use it in my diffuser. So I'll put about three to four drops in my diffuser before I go to bed and it really helps me to just settle down and, and feel relaxed. Two bonus tips. I love to use the lavender essential oil for my skin. So if I have any skin needs, maybe I'm outside in the sun a little too much. I love using lavender. It's also an incredible deodorant. So I've kind of given up the, the toxic deodorants from the grocery and have turned to lavender essential oil. One drop, massaged onto my underarms, and I think I smell pretty nice. You do. <laughs> Purification is an incredible blend of uh, Young Living Essential Oils that I really like. 
It's awesome to put in the diffuser just to freshen up a room. Let's say you cook broccoli, house is smelling rough, purification is a go-to. Uh, it's also great if you've got some stinky shoes in your house. Put a drop on a cotton ball and put those in each of the shoes and you'll, you'll be amazed how much it can help. Purification is also great for eye and ear health. So this is one that I'll just take a drop, massage around the outside of my eye um, or on my ears, earlobe. Again, not putting it in the eye or in the ears, uh, but just really helps support the wellness of my eyes and ears. And um, yeah, I think one other piece, Sarah, you like to use this one when we go to New York. Yeah, I like to use, I make um, a spray bottle for the outdoors, so. Uh, yeah, what do you the, use? You use, yeah. witch, I think, witch hazel, water, witch hazel, water and purification. And about 10 to 15 drops of purification in the glass spray bottle, and I'll just shake it up and spray it on my body before I'm about to go hiking or anything like that. Anyway, that's purification essential oil. Um, you'll love it. Digize is my, I want to say it's my new favorite oil. Um, when I first got Digize, I, the smell is really intense. It smells like a spice cabinet. It has a lot of ginger in it. It's a, it's a blend. Um, one thing that I love to do with Digize is if I eat dairy or something that my body doesn't agree with, I'll take a drop under my tongue and within 10 minutes I feel better. So it's a really great digestion support oil and it's quickly become a favorite one for me just because of that reason. Now for little kids, uh, you can rub Digize directly on their stomachs or you can dilute it with a period oil. So the next blend is RC, and this one has uh, got a lot of eucalyptus in it, three types of eucalyptus, and it's an incredible blend for your respiratory system. So again, um, putting a drop on your palms, massaging it into your chest and your neck can really uh, bring great benefit to your breathing and support you on that journey. Uh, we also have teammates who like to put the RC blend in the diffuser. So if their child, uh, son or daughter is in need, uh, their immune system is talking to them or their respiratory system is in need, they'll just do that through the night um, and that really is proven helpful to a lot of, a lot of kids. Uh, so again, one little bonus tip, I like to put a drop of this on a washcloth and lay it on the bottom of the shower and it makes it like a nice spa experience in the shower. Uh, when the water hits the washcloth, the RC, the eucalyptus kind of comes up into, into my breathing breathing zone. So anyway, that's RC. Panaway is another favorite oil. I probably will say that about all of them because they are, but Panaway has wintergreen and clove and hillcrisom and it kind of has a warm feeling to it. I love to use it after I come back from the rock gym. I'll put a, a drop on my neck and on my shoulders um, and also on any joints or anything like that. Um, so great after exercise support. Panaway is one of my favorites to use in my massage practice. I like to uh, blend it with the copaiba and the peppermint oil. So we'll talk about those two here in a little bit. So Panaway, copaiba, and peppermint uh, with a carrier oil massaged in. Incredible. I think that's why a lot of my clients keep coming back. Speaking of peppermint oil, this is an incredible oil uh, to use for respiratory support, digestion. Um, I also love it for energy. I'll just take a drop and put a little bit on the back of my neck. I feel like it really uh, gives me energy. Uh, again, we have teammates who like to put a drop in their glass water and, um, and they love the way it supports their digestion. And again, right there with RC, it's a great respiratory supporter, so you can uh, mix it in with the RC if you want to. With peppermint, you do want to be uh, cautious around children under three because it's such, it's so pure. Um, one drop of this is equivalent to like 20 cups of peppermint tea. So again, one drop goes a long way. Uh, so again, peppermint oil for respiratory, digestion, and also for um, minor head tension or energy on the back of your neck. Frankincense is amazing. I absolutely love this oil because I use it for my skincare uh, regimen every single morning. I used to be a makeup artist and I would use 
all different sort of chemical moisturizers, cleansers, and toners. Now I've replaced all of that and I just use one drop of frankincense with a little bit of coconut oil and I'll put that on my face in the morning. And I feel like it's just helped to make my face a little more glowy, smooth out any fine lines, anything like that, which I love for skincare. And what do you use it for? Well, we also love to use frankincense for our yoga practice and also for me it's a prayer and meditation oil so i like to just put a little bit on my head before bed i'll take a drop massage it on my whole head and it just helps me like ground out it's a really great focusing oil so if you've got um you know if you're dropping into a book or you have work to do or studying um, frankincense can also benefit you uh, in that way as well Thieves Essential Oil Blend is the next one. It has clove, rosemary, cinnamon, eucalyptus, and lemon in it. And this one if, um, just smells amazing. I actually used it a lot when I was teaching high school. Um, I actually, in five years of teaching high school, I had one real sick day. And I really feel like Thieves was the, the game changer for me. I would have this in my desk, and any time a kid would walk in um, not feeling well, which was most every day, um, I would just put a drop on and, and rub it on my neck. And so I just kind of see it as this amazing immune system oil. Uh, Young Living also has a cleaning line that's based all around the Thieves essential oil. So that blend is kind of mixed into their Thieves um, cleaning line products. Anyway, anything else that you use Thieves for? Again, I just, I like to use it for my hands, uh, just to keep my hands clean if I'm like going out in public, going to a public restroom or anything like that, I like to put these in my hand afterwards. You don't, you don't use that pink soap in the bathrooms at public spots? No, I use, I use Thieves. Yeah, we, def thieves. we definitely like to use Thieves instead of the pink stuff. Yeah. Like I said in the beginning, I think I said this, that citrus oils were my favorite when I first started. Uh, they are really light and refreshing smelling, especially lemon oil. I love to take a drop of lemon oil and put it in my water just to keep me hydrated and has a nice flavor to it. I also, this is one of the main ways people use lemon is to take off labels. You know those sticky labels you get from the store that are stuck to glass bottles? You can just put a drop of lemon oil on that and 30 seconds later just wipe it away. Um, so that's a one main reason. And then the other, the last use for lemon is just putting it in the diffuser. Um, it has a really uplifting sense. So if you want to just feel like more energized for the day, I'd say lemon is definitely a go-to. I've actually been rotating lemon oil into my, my deodorant reality. So sometimes I'll use lavender, other times I'll use lemon. Um, and I love the way it makes me smell and it, um, and it works as well. So. Copaiba Vitality is the next oil. It's a super faint smell. Uh, it's incredible to put a drop of this in your water. So I also, if I'll put a drop of peppermint, I like to put a drop of the Copaiba. I feel like it really supports my immune system. Uh, another way, as I said earlier, massage therapy. This is a great one to blend with the Panaway, the peppermint, and then this Copaiba. Put those three together with the carrier oil. Massage that onto joints, onto muscles, low back. Uh, whatever your need is, it's super helpful. And uh, I think that's it on this one. I actually have noticed a huge difference just putting a drop of this on my neck before bed and then also in the mornings. As I used to get quite a bit of neck tension and I feel like um, just having that consistency has really helped calm down like my neck and, and shoulder tension. So anyway, that's Copaiba. This next oil, Stress Away, I absolutely love. It, to me, it kind of smells like a mojito. It has lime, vanilla, copaiba in it. A lot of women that I know have switched out their perfumes for Stress Away. So it's more of a natural perfume oil. What I like to do is put it on my wrist and the back of the neck just like I apply perfume. It also just does what it says, really deep relaxation. Finally, this kit also comes with two samples of Ningxia Red, which is our wolfberry puree juice. It's a really powerhouse antioxidant juice. It has wolfberry puree in it, which is kind of like goji berry, and then it has some really nice citrus oils in it as well. Um, I'll, we will take about a shot of it every day, and just for our immune system support. If we're traveling a lot, I'll take a couple more ounces. If I'm feeling under the weather, 
I'll take about eight ounces of this and it really helps me to recover a lot quicker. So I love, absolutely love this juice. Okay, so I'm sure you're all wondering the best way to begin and really the best way is by getting this premium starter kit. It comes with the 10 oils we talked about plus the bonus stress away oil and the two packs of the Ningxia Red and the diffuser for 160. If I were to buy this all retail, it would cost over $300. So that's why it really makes sense to buy this wholesale. With a wholesale membership, you also get 24% off retail costs for an entire year, which is amazing. And then there's also no obligation to ever purchase anything ever again. But 12 months from now, once your membership is up, if you want to renew, then you'd spend $50. So again, premium starter kit is awesome. So now that you've begun your journey with Young Living as a wholesale member, uh, you will want to consider joining Essential Rewards. If you really want to take your health to the next level, um, this is a great way to detoxify your home and your whole life. Uh, so Essential Rewards is a loyalty program that provides you cheaper shipping. You get loyalty gifts on months 3, 6, 9, and 12. You also have um, the opportunity to receive points back each month. So months 1 through 3, you earn 10% back. Months 4 through 24, you earn 20% back in points. And months 25 and on, you earn 25% back. So again, this is an incredible uh, loyalty program that Young Living offers us. It's called Essential Rewards. If you consider yourself on that cusp of like taking, taking your wellness to a whole new level, you're going to want to jump into Essential Rewards and um, explore, explore it. Tell, us, tell yeah. them a little bit about the products we've chosen. Yeah, order. some things that I get with our Essential Rewards order is I get we get toothpaste, we get household cleaner, we get laundry detergent, things that we would normally buy at the store, but we're buying it from ourselves and we're getting rewarded for it with points. So it really makes sense and it really saves us money. So that's what I love about Essential Rewards. And make sure to check out these resources on the next slide. They're gonna be really beneficial for you in your education journey as you dive into the oils some more. And also, go, go ahead, you can go to uh, Facebook and like the Living Well Now page. That's our, our huge community of over, I think, 11,000 people now, right, Erin? And we also have some great groups on there as well, the LWN Lifestyle Group, where it's a community of like-minded individuals who share lots of tips and testimonials about how to use the oils. So one thing you'll want to do is you want to make sure you contact the person who invited you to watch this video and have them help you get started. Um, begin your Young Living journey with this premium starter kit. And, and if you're feeling, feeling excited to jump into the Essential Rewards journey, that's something you might want to do right off the bat as well. Um, anyway, thanks so much for being here with us on this and, and watching this video. We wish, wish you a lovely day. Bye. Hi, welcome to our Essential Oils 101 class. Actually, can I start over? No. So you're probably wondering, how do I begin? What we were... <laughs> <laughs> and also this Young Living kit comes with two samples of Ningxia Red, which is about this big. And it's our... <laughs> Instead of um, taking 18 drops of an essential oil and trying to massage my shoulders down, I can actually take a coconut oil or some other carrier oil, like a ho. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yikes! Dang it. That was so good, too. You were Dang doing it. great. I started with bike ride and then I went to rock gym. <laughs> yeah, I was See, take three, baby. <laughs> we did it.